Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to help you get into your computer in case you're locked out. So let's say something happened to your user account and your PIN and your password uh, don't work and you can't reset your Microsoft account or can't even get into your Microsoft account or maybe you're using a local account and you forgot your password or for some reason it's not working. So what we're going to be using is called the Hirons Boot CD. So this uh, CD lets you boot into kind of like a troubleshooting mode with all kinds of tools you could use to help fix your computer. So what you would have to do is download this on a different computer and either burn it to a CD if you have a CD drive still or burn it to a bootable flash drive and then you can start your computer with it. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to shut down this computer and then restart it with the Hirons Boot CD loaded and then we'll take it from there. All right, so we're loading files. So it looks like it's booting into Windows, but it's actually booting to the boot CD. All right, so you can see it gives you kind of this uh, Windows looking desktop, kind of Windows 10 looking. So it's getting some drivers ready. All right, so let me scroll down so we can see the uh, little taskbar here. All right, so now we want to click on the Start button here. Go to All Programs, Security, Passwords, and then Lays Soft Password Recovery. So there is a full version of this program that you could buy that'll let you do things such as uh, actually reset the passwords. Well, this free version will just let you enable an account and set the password to blank. So we're going to choose the option here for reset Windows password. So you can see here, Home Edition is for non-commercial use only. And if you want to use the Pro version, you'll get the extra features. All right, so reset local password is our only option. So here's our account list. And here's the one that we couldn't get into. You can see it's not locked, it's not disabled and so on, but we can't do anything with it like change the password. So what you could do, if you click on Next, you can see if you hover over it, Convert Live ID Account to a Local User and Reset its Password to Blank. So that's another option, but you might be you know, messing up your Microsoft account if you do that. So what I recommend you do is go to the Administrator account, click on Next, then we're going to Reset and Unlock it. So Reset Successfully. So we'll click on Finish. All right, now we'll restart the computer here. Okay, now you can see we have the administrator account listed here. And if we click on it, it just automatically logs it in with no password. Now, of course, it's going to have to do the new profile setup because it's technically a new user. So we'll just fast forward this and be back when it's done. Okay, so we're logged in with our local administrator account. All right, so now if you were to go to the Windows settings and then to accounts and other users, you could see your users here, but you can't do anything really with them. So for you to type in NETPLWIZ, You'll see your accounts here as well, but for the Microsoft accounts, you cannot reset the password because it's a Microsoft account, but if it's a local account, you could do so. So you have a couple options here. Um, you could either create a new Microsoft account or a new local account. I suppose you could use the administrator account, but you probably shouldn't do that. Or what you could do too is just with this account logged in, you could back up all your files and then once you get your Microsoft account configured or reset, you could try doing a clean installation uh, with that Microsoft account or try setting it up again. You know, you could remove the user here and then re-add it once you get your Microsoft account password figured out. So overall, it's a good way to get back into your computer if you're completely locked out. You just can't really use it to fix your Microsoft account uh, because you can't reset your Microsoft account password 
logged in with this user because you'll have to do it via Microsoft, you know, online. But like I said before, if you can't change your Microsoft uh, account password or can't get into your account and Microsoft's no help, then you're going to have to either create a new Microsoft account and set it up here or create a new local account and just use that. And then of course you could go to the users folder. And then just pick your profile, then copy the documents and so on over to your new account and then just remove it from your computer. And then when you're done with the administrator account, you notice that you can't just remove it when you're logged in as it, uh, but there is a quick command you could do from an administrator command prompt to disable it again, and that way you don't risk deleting it. You could just uh, disable it in case you need to use it again. So I'll put that command in the description in case you want to disable the built-in admin once you get your new account set up. And then I'll also put a link in the description for the Hiren's Boot CD, and then you could download it and see if it helps you out. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.